Notice it's a direct connect, panel to fan. No charge controllers, inverters, batteries, nothing. As long as you got the sun, you got the wind. Things working great. Notice no shimmies, no shakes, no movements, totally solid. Easily cooling all the way back to the wall. And again, it's all free. Hey there, quickly to show you this new full size 20 inch solar powered or battery powered 12 volt DC box fan. I've been wanting to make one of these for a couple of years. A full size 20 inch box fan, like the AC version back there, except one that's got a 12 volt DC fan in it. Super easy project to make, by the way. If you're thinking about getting into solar and you want something that's going to be really useful, this is one of the most useful things I think you could have. Whole thing's actually pretty simple, really. Quick talk through you got your large radiator fan inside, 16 incher, it's really close to the 17 with the housing. Then your 18 inch board, it's mounted to on the inside, piece of plywood. Then that whole thing is secured to the frame which is the two by six, really one and a half by five and a half. 21 and a quarter across and two 18 and a quarters down. You put them together, it makes a 21 and a quarter inch square with the internal square being 18 and a quarter. Drop the 18 inch plywood in, I painted it, screwed it in, and then dropped the 16 inch fan in, which was really close to the 17. Ran a wire out the back and over to the panel. That's the whole thing, really. Drop a handle on to make it look finished. As far as cost, the whole thing only costs $45. The big expense is the radiator fan. I just bought a $30 one, but you can tell it cranks more than good enough. And then it's $5 for the wooden frame, $5 for the piece of plywood on the inside, and $5 for the handle. So $15 plus whatever the radiator fan is, in my case $45. Then the plastic grills and the cord, I just got off an old junk fan that I had. So $45 for the fan, and then however you want to run it. But again, you can run it on any 12 volt source as long as you got the amps. So 100 watt solar panel, or you could go 120 or 140, bigger doesn't matter. And uh, otherwise, 12 volt battery, car cigarette lighter, a lot of options. Check it out, got a motor speed control unit for it. You can control the speed of the fan all the way down to one water less. You can run it that slow if you want to. I can actually see the blades going around, it's going so slow. Pretty simple, just got the paint, a handle, some screws, those are anti-skid pads or you can use felt, the 2x6 wood, the grills, the plastic grills, I'm just getting off an old box fan, and then you just need a piece of plywood and a large car radiator fan. Notice how they're indented, you want them to go all the way in.
Okay. I think it'll look a little better if I paint the inside fan support, so I'm going to go with gloss black. Then I went ahead and dropped in four 2x3 bracers. They're about four inches long, and they're indented an inch and a quarter. That's what will hook the fan assembly onto. Screw it in on the corners. Looks good. That's how it looks from the back. By the way, these fans have like a built-in grill in the back, so you really don't have to put the grill in the back if you don't want to. I'm going to just to make it look, you know, a little more finished. Lastly, either just put some felt, or I'm going to use these anti-skid pads on the bottom. Okay, and here's the back. You just feed the wire out through there. Then, I took this wire off the same fan I got from this, but you can just use old extension cord wire if you want. And we'll hook that up here, and this to the solar panel. Again, straight connection from the fan wire over to the solar panel, up to the panel. So you can either just use a regular switch like this or step it up to a little switch like this. Beautiful, works great. Just wired in line. Simple screw connectors. And again, there's only 12 bucks on Amazon, 12.99, and it's a 20 amper, anywhere from about three, I think it was three to 60 volt. So it's a 12-volt fan. Works great. Another good reason to use these is if you're going to run this on a battery, you can get like four, five, six times the amount of time out of this if you slow it down. Say you want to run this at night and you just want a gentle breeze, maybe run it at the 10-watt level. You could run this thing for like 20 hours. On high, you might only get like four or five hours on a good-sized marine deep-cycle battery. But you turn it down like that to the 10 to 20-watt level, and you could probably go like 20 hours. Thing is awesome. 